course it is. A couple quick announcements uh, before we jump into uh, our business. Um, apologies for not announcing this at the beginning of the break. There is a, um, if on future breaks uh, you need to use the smoking area, it is out this door and then there's a balcony on the left uh, that you can use. Um, please remember uh, to uh, come up to the mic uh, before speaking. Uh, when I recognize you, I will recognize also the mic that you will be speaking at. Uh, so if I see you moving to the podium or the red or blue roving mic uh, to give um, our tech guy, John Stewart, uh, time to turn that mic on. Uh, when you come up to the mic to speak, please pause for like a second or two to make sure that he's had time to turn it on rather than starting to speak the second you get up there. Uh, once we uh, move, once we are at the point where debate time is limited, don't worry, the timekeeper will not detract those seconds from your time. We just wanna make sure that things are running smoothly. Uh, when you come up to speak at the podium mic, all of these mics you have to speak directly into as you see me doing now. Uh, so you will need to remove the mic from the stand and hold it up to your mouth. Uh, you can then put it back in the stand or you can just lay it down if you need to, um, if that's easier uh, when you are done speaking. And if you are sliding it back into the holder, as I said earlier, please slide it back in rather than snapping it in and out to protect all of our ears. Okay, uh, we are, oh right, gavel. We're back in session. Um, okay, we are going to move on to uh, standing rule changes. Um, in your agenda, there is nothing listed under A. However, item B3 um, is actually a standing rule change. We just uh, misclassified it when we were constructing the agenda. So uh, we are going to take up item B3, short title. Sometimes it really is easier to ask forgiveness uh, first. I'm going to propose a debate time of four minutes to this. Are there any objections to that time? And then I'm going to give the secretary a second. Yes, so B3 is now A1. Okay, so the debate time is set at four minutes. Um, let me turn to it. There it is. Uh, Cliff or Kate, do you wish to speak to this? Kate, uh, coming up to the podium. Speak slowly. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Kate Secor. Um, so if you were in the business meeting last year, you will remember a situation in which we went into Committee of the Whole and we ran out our time, and then we had a whole long thing about how do we get more time for the Committee of the Whole, because we're not allowed to give it to ourselves. And we had to rise, we had to, had the committee had to rise, report back to the business meeting that it needed more time, get more time allocated, and then go back into Committee of the Whole. This is somewhat goofy. So this standing rule change basically allows committees of the whole to allocate to themselves more time if that becomes necessary. It's not a thing we use very often, but there was a lot of wrangling last year, so let's not do that again. Uh, that was a speech in favor. Uh, Kent, uh, speaking at the podium mic. One moment for the secretary. You good? Go ahead. Okay. Max Chairperson, um, I think uh, my name is Kent Bloom, and I think that this is not the right way to do it. Although I agree that the wrangling last year about how to do it. Uh, would have been what was unproductive. Now that we know how to do it, uh, it can be done very quickly if that's what we want. The rules for extending time by the business meeting, main business meeting, are different from the rules that, that the uh, Committee of the Whole works under. 
I think that this would make it too easy for a committee of the whole to extend its own time beyond what had been originally allocated to it. Okay, that was a speech against. Is there anyone uh, wishing to speak in favor? Anyone else wishing to speak against? Uh, uh, can you move to the front and, or on the blue mic, please state your inquiry? Martin Pine, he, him, parliamentary inquiry. Uh, would this allow, what happens if the committee extends debate and then rises without consuming all of the debate? Would the, accept, would the remaining debate time be simply terminated or would it go back to the main, or would it go back to the business meeting to use as it saw fit? Uh, so when the, so in the example of last year, uh, the uh, fan artist uh, discussion had a given debate time and then we moved into committee of the whole and used all of the debate time that was allocated to fan artist. In the case that say fan artists had been allocated 20 minutes and the committee of the whole only used 10 of those minutes, then there would still be 10 minutes uh, remaining uh, for debate time for that item. Does that answer your question? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to be more concrete. Origi let's say there were originally six minutes allocated. The committee of the whole runs through those six minutes, moves to extend debate by an additional six minutes. The committee rises having used four of those minutes. Did those two minutes go away or are they returned to the business meeting as a whole to use as they see fit? Um, I believe those, those two minutes would have been allocated only to the committee of the whole um, and the debate time on the original item would not have been extended and so would not return uh, to the business meeting proper for discussion of that item. Does my parliamentarian wish to sure. contradict me? I agree with that. No. Awesome. Uh, I'd, actually, uh, I'd like, uh, like to... Two the things that he said that, that contradicted both sides. Okay. 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 One is that you said if six minutes are allocated to the committee of the whole, they don't use the whole six minutes. That the, they use four in the In the extended way. Okay, in the extension. That's what I think. Uh, I was seeking the floor, actually. I was, I was oh, you wish yeah. to speak in favor? Yeah. No. Or, no. You're speaking... Do you wish to speak... Yes, yes. Okay. I, I understand, though, but you want to give somebody else the word. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll recognize you. Your speech against. Wait. Wait, we were or in no. speech for. Wait, what's going on? We're, nobody had risen to speak in favor. Oh, Is, I said something. Right. Speak in oh, favor. No. I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought you were also speaking against. My apologies. I'm going to unrecognize you and recognize Terry to speak in favor. My apologies. I got lost in the switching. At the on the on the red microphone. My name is Terry Neal, and I use she/her pronouns. And uh, my quick speech in favor uh, to acknowledge what Kent said is that when we are a committee of the whole, exactly the same people are deciding about time in the committee of the whole as in the business meeting, because that's what we're doing. And I'm done. Thank you. Uh, I will now re-recognize Don as a speech against, since I so cruelly cut him off. As Donald E. Slake, I want to, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to move an amendment to, uh, this might be implied, but to make it clear and to answer one of the objections to this, uh, amend this so that it says, have the right by a two-thirds vote to amend its duration. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, yes. Uh, the, okay, I'll recognize you at the podium mic. Uh, Joshua Kroningold, he, him. Um, is a two-thirds what is currently required to extend debate normally in the main meeting? Thank you. Yeah, so this would make it the uh, required vote the same in the Committee of the Whole as it is in the uh, Assembly. Since the, the merits of this are so transparently obvious, I don't feel I need to speak in favor. Okay, one moment. I'm going to make sure the secretary is good. Do you need a second? Yeah. Okay, one moment. So she's speaking in favor of adding. He said two thirds of it was already required to yeah. go into a committee. Of course, no, 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 no,
um, uh, on the blue mic. Yes, Mr. Chairperson. Uh, Martin Pine, Parliamentary Inquiry. Would the proposed amendment to the amendment would that permit the Committee of the Whole to limit debate using a two-thirds vote? Uh, I believe... It just says amend duration, so it would go both ways. There is an existing standing rule that covers that, yes. They, I mean, they can limit debate for themselves. They can't limit debate for not themselves. Um, so the, the current amendment that has been seconded is to insert um, by two-thirds vote after shall have the right. Um, is there any more discussion on this amendment? Uh, yes, Jovan, uh, on the blue mic. Parliamentary inquiry, mixed chairperson. So the ultimate goal of this is just to prevent the committee from having to go back to the business meeting, get more time, and then come back to committee? Uh, yes, that is the that is the intent of the um, the original motion. Thank you. Uh, the intent of the amendment is to clarify the vote required to do that. One moment. We're making sure we have the amendment done correctly in the minutes. Grace of the Chair, I can make a brief remark as parliamentarian. I wanted to point out that I, I think the Committee of the Whole can limit its own debate time by majority vote by simply adopting a motion to rise and report. I would agree with that assessment. Um, are you good, Linda? Uh, as soon as I fix this. Okay. Uh, I did see Perky standing, uh, so I'm going to ask you to move to the podium for to speak once the Secretary is ready. Yes, Perky? Uh, PRK or Perky, he, him. Uh, mixed chairperson, parliamentary inquiry, is it more appropriate rather than specifying the two-thirds majority here to refer to the, the, the part of the Constitution where two-thirds is specified? So that if that is changed, this automatically reflects that? Or do we repeat in multiple places? Uh, the uh, requirement for debate to be extended by a two-thirds vote I do not believe actually appears in the Constitution. It is in uh, Robert's Rules of Order. Um, as to whether or not it is appropriate, um, I believe that would be a question of debate rather than parliamentary opinion. How are we doing on time? You have two seconds on each side. We have, okay. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna call that finished unless there is a motion to extend debate. Bye. Okay, is there a second? Side. Two minutes each side or two minutes in total? Okay. Okay, is there a second? Okay, uh, there is a motion to uh, extend debate by a total of two minutes. I have a second. Um, it's not debatable, right? Okay, it is not debatable. Uh, a show of hands in favor of extending debate. Thank you. And against? Uh, that is not a two-thirds uh, majority, so debate is not extended. Uh, do you have a point of order? That's not an appeal. Uh, you can request um, a counted vote. No. No. Can you, can you please, yeah, if you're appealing the ruling to the chair, can you please move to the mic?
I, I'm, I'm not clear on what you're appealing, so I want to be clear on that before um, I rule since out an order. Since there has been no opposing speech on the motion, I do not believe that, uh, I believe that they, that, has there been one? Yes. Yeah. I stand corrected, thank you. Okay. All right. Okay, uh, since we are out of debate time, we now move to vote on the amendment. Uh, so the amendment is to insert by two thirds vote after shall have the right. Um, all in favor of the amendment, please raise your hands. Thank you. All against. Uh, the motion is so amended. Uh, we now move to uh, the vote on the, uh, the standing rule uh, as amended, um, since we are still out of debate time. Uh, do you have a point of order or parliamentary inquiry or wishing to extend debate? Uh, I wish to make a motion to adopt the media effect. Okay. Be after that, uh, I will recognize you for that motion after uh, it is passed, if it passes. Um, all those in favor of the uh, standing rule amendment as uh, amended by Don Eastlake, please raise your hand. Thank you. All against? Okay. The uh, item B3, now A1, passes. Um, and I will recognize Cliff Dunn. Uh, if you can just speak into the blue microphone rather than coming all the way up here. Yes, Mixed Chair, I move to give this uh, motion immediate effect. I believe that requires a two-thirds majority. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Second. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is not debatable. Uh, all those in favor, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those against? And that is a two-thirds majority, and so this is made with immediate effect. Uh, n now that it is passed and in effect, uh, I believe I can say without showing too much bias, thank you, that was a nightmare last year. <laughs> okay, so we will now move to resolutions. Um, are you good to go? Oh, wait. There's B4, suspend. So B4 is not actually a standing rule change. Uh, it is a resolution. So that one is correct on the agenda and ah, is okay. incorrect on the slides. Okay. Um, Are you good to go? I'm good. Okay. We are going to move to item B1. The short title is Hugo Eligibility Extension for Prospect. It is on page two of your agenda. Um, where is it? There we go. Uh, does one of the makers of the motion we, which wish to speak to it? Uh, please come up to the podium, Mike. Do we have to set time? Oh, right. I have to set a time. Sorry. Uh, before I recognize you, apologize. I am going to promote propose, what did I have written down? Uh, two minutes for this. Uh, is there any objection to setting the debate time at two minutes? Uh, seeing none, the debate time is set at two minutes. And now I will rec rec recognize you. So the movie Prospect. Please give your uh, name for oh, the secretary and your pronouns. My name's Olav Rockney. I use male pronouns. And uh, I'm here to speak on uh, extending the eligibility of the movie Prospect for an additional year. Uh, based on the fact that it was only uh, shown in cinemas at, uh, on 23 occasions in, uh, in the previous calendar year, only became available on streaming services about two weeks before the deadline for nominations in 2019. Um, it's an excellent little science fiction movie directed by Zeke Earle and Chris Caldwell. Uh, it uses the forests of Seattle, uh, near Seattle, to uh, convey a truly alien uh, landscape. It's exactly the sort of work I think we should be recognizing, and it just was not distributed sufficiently. Thank you. Are there any other, is, th is there a speech against? Uh, is there an additional speech in favor? Oh, are we out of time? Seven seconds. Anybody have seven seconds they really need to give? Okay. Uh, seeing none, uh, we'll move to a vote. All those in favor of adopting B1 to extend the Hugo eligibility for prospect, please raise your hand. All those against, and the motion passes. Okay, we are now going to move to item B2. We are going to move to item B2 in a second. Okay, 
Okay, B2. Okay, B2, uh, I'm going to propose um, a debate time of two minutes for this. Is there any objection to a debate time of two minutes? Uh, seeing none, that is what the debate time is set at. Uh, and I will recognize Joe Van. Hi, Joe Van Ekren, pronouns she and her. Um, this proposal is to extend the eligibility of the worlds of Ursula K. Le Guin, a documentary film created by Arwen Curry. Last year, it had very limited release at film festivals, and so most Hugo voters had no opportunity to view it prior to the ending of the nomination period this year. However, it has been shown quite extensively across the U.S. and it finally did appear on PBS a couple of weeks ago. So a lot more Hugo voters have had the opportunity to see it, and I would like it to be eligible for nomination next year. Thank you. Uh, is there a speech against? Do we have time for an additional speech in favor? 20 seconds. Does anyone wish to make one? Uh, seeing none, we will move to a vote. Uh, all those in favor of item B2 to extend the Hugo eligibility for worlds of Ursula K. Le Guin, please raise your hand. Thank you. All opposed? And item B2 passes. Moving right along. We will go to item B4. The short title is Suspend 5 and 6 for 2020. Um, I'm going to suggest a debate time of six minutes for this. Is there any objection? Uh, first up here, are you objecting to? Yes. yes. Okay, uh, so we will, I will make an official motion to propose a debate time of six minutes. Um, are there any other numbers people wish to add to the pile yes microphone yeah please speak into the blue microphone order don't we need to immediately vote on whether or not to adopt six minutes no no, the, no. i don't think so the, uh, we take the numbers first the way the rule i yeah she's right. yeah yeah you're right okay so uh the chair is going to back up and re-formally propose that we adopt debate time of six minutes. Is there a second? All right, all those in favor of debate time of six minutes, please raise your hand. Thank you. All opposed? Cool, debate time is set at six minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, Cliff Dunn. Please come up to the podium or use the blue mic. You're coming up to the podium. Yes, please don't run. Test, 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 there we go. I am still Cliff Dunn. I move to postpone this definitely until after item Delta 7. Okay, uh, the motion has been seconded. Uh, we do not believe this is debatable, unless somebody wants to contradict me. Okay, uh, all those in favor of postponing item B4 um, to take up immediately after item D7 is taken care of. Uh, and I just want to confirm you mean after we take care of it tomorrow. Yes, okay. Uh, all those in favor of postponing item B4 to be taken up tomorrow after uh, D7 has been taken care of, please raise your hand. Thank you, all opposed? Uh, and the motion passes. Joni, do you have an objection? The question was about the debate time for tomorrow. All debate times restart um, at the next uh, session of the business meeting. So the debate time for this item will be six minutes tomorrow. Um, the motion passes and uh, that is before handled for now. Nope. One moment. Okay. Just gonna move that down there. Okay. We are now going to move on to section C, uh, which is business passed on from last year. 
Uh, our first item is C1. The short title is adding series to the series. I am going to propose a debate time of four minutes for this. Is there any objection? Hearing none, the, uh, are you objecting or just, sorry, uh, got me all scared now. Uh, <laughs> seeing no objections, uh, the debate time is set at four minutes for item C1. Right. And then we, again. okay. Uh, moving to item C2, the short title, Comic Books and Graphic Stories. I'm going to propose a debate time of six minutes for this. Are there any objections? Uh, there is an objection, so now I'm going to formally move a debate time of six minutes. Is there a second? Okay, all those in favor of a debate time of six minutes, please raise your hand. Thank you, all those against. And debate time is set at six minutes. Uh, item C3, short title, Notability Still Matters. I'm going to propose, once again, a debate time of six minutes. Are there any objections? Okay, I am now going to formally move a debate time of six minutes. Is there a second? Thank you. All those in favor of a debate time of six minutes, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those against? Uh, the motion passes. Uh, so debate time is set at six minutes. Um, Okay, that's item C for now. Uh, come back tomorrow for the fun stuff. Uh, okay, moving on to section D, our new constitutional amendments. Our first one is section D1, which is the short title, Clarification of Worldcon Powers. I meant to be telling you where in, these, where in your agenda these are, so I will try to remember to do it. It's on page five of your agenda. Uh, I am proposing a debate time of four minutes for this item. Is there an objection? Uh, seeing none. Uh, the debate time is set at four minutes. Pause for anyone wanting to jump up and do something. See none. We will move on to the next one. Okay. Item uh, D2, short title, Disposition of the NASFIC ballot. It can be found on, yep, page six. Uh, I am proposing a debate time of six minutes for this. Is there any objection to a debate time of six minutes? Seeing none, the debate time is six minutes. For people who are new to the business meeting, the awkward pause I am giving after these is in case someone wants to try to object to consideration or postpone indefinitely or amend or something else. That's why there's gonna be pauses after each of the Ds. Okay, seeing nothing, we are gonna move on to D3. Short title is A Problem of Numbers. Uh, that is on page six of your agenda. I am proposing a debate time of four minutes for this. Is there any objection to a debate time of four minutes? Seeing none, debate is set at four minutes. Okay, uh, item D4 found on page seven. The short title is The Needs of the One. I am uh, proposing a debate time of six minutes for this. Any objection to six minutes? Uh, I see an objection. Okay, uh, I still propose six minutes, uh, but I will now re-propose an object time, uh, a debate time of four minutes. Is there any objection to four minutes? Then debate time is set at four minutes. Okay, item D5, uh, found on page eight. Uh, short title is, That Ticket Has Been Punched. These are also like, mm -hmm. no, no, pass. no, sorry. Forward the pass. forward pass. The page, yeah, yeah, no, I just skipped a line. Um, there we go. Uh, I am proposing a debate time of, there it is, six minutes for this. Any objection to six minutes? Okay, debate time is set at six minutes. Okay, now item D6, also still on page eight, short title, that ticket has been punched. Uh, I am proposing a debate time of eight minutes for this item. Any objection to eight minutes? Uh, there's an objection from Okay, I have been told that we can just move to a vote and I don't have to do the whole yeah. formally proposing it thing. So, uh, all in favor of a debate time of 
What did I say? Eight, eight minutes. <laughs> All in favor of eight minutes, please raise your hand. Thank you. Those against? Okay, debate is set at eight minutes. Okay, item D7, found on page nine, short title five and five. I am proposing a debate time of 10 minutes for this. Oh, sorry, I didn't look up. Uh, Terry. I'm sorry, I moved to postpone indefinitely. Okay, uh, Terry is moving to postpone indefinitely. There is a second. Um, so th this, is, this is on the microphone for the, for the filming. Um, I, uh, okay, one moment, I wait, wait. one moment. We have a parliamentary inquiry. Uh, can you hand him the blue mic, please? I just want to know which item it was. It, you, did you just need clarification on the item? Okay, uh, we are currently on five and five, item D7. Um, I want to remind the body uh, that the way this works is debate time is set at four minutes. Um, and so there will be two sides for two minutes for each side to speak in favor and against and of postponing indefinitely. Uh, Terry. My name is Terry Neal. I use she, her pronouns, and I move to postpone uh, indefinitely. Okay. Do you wish to speak to that? Okay. Um, this is dismantling the bulwark that we put together to help uh, deal with people who vote and nominate like the puppies did in 2015, and I think it is far too early to dismantle this bulwark. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, Terry's going to hand you the red mic in a split second to state your parliamentary inquiry. Perry Ann Lurie. Um, since we voted to postpone definitely another item right after this, if this is removed from the agenda, what happens to the other one? That's a great question. <laughs> um, I would, so since we postponed def, definitely to tomorrow after this was handled, I would say that um, I would ask consent of the body to go ahead and take it up now. And if y'all want to be crotchety, then we would wait till tomorrow. So we probably have to wait till after this is decided before but, we really do it. But yeah, does that make that sound good? Okay. Um, I'm. Is there a maker of the motion for D seven that wishes to speak against postponing indefinitely? Okay. Is there anyone else wishing to speak against postponing indefinitely? Uh, Kent, um, at the podium, Mike. Max Chairperson, I'm Kent Bloom, and I don't think we should postpone this indefinitely. I think we have no evidence whatsoever that this has deterred anything. Um, we do have evidence that EPH has changed the order and possibly uh, one or two items off the agendas, but there's no particular reason why, why, why we should um, not do this if we want to, and therefore we should consider it. Thank you. There was a point of order in the back um, on the blue microphone. EPH. One moment. Please, please pause for a moment before speaking to the mic to give uh, John time to turn it on. Point of order debate must be germane. EPH is not under consideration. I'm sorry, what was that? What would you repeat? What do you say? Uh, the point of order was that debate must be germane and EPH is not under consideration. Um, while EPH specifically is not under consideration, the issue of um, Hugo nominations as a whole is, and so referencing EPH.